The monkeypox virus was first discovered in 1958 when outbreaks of a pox-like disease occurred among monkeys kept for research in Copenhagen, Denmark. The first human case of monkeypox was reported in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo, formerly known as Zaire. Monkeypox virus can be transmitted to humans through various routes. The primary modes of transmission include Direct contact Humans can become infected with the monkeypox virus through direct contact with the blood, bodily fluids, or lesions of infected animals, such as rodents, primates, or other small mammals. The virus can enter the body through broken skin, the respiratory tract, or the mucous membranes, eyes, nose, or mouth. Animal to human transmission. Monkeypox virus can be transmitted to humans through bites or scratches from infected animals. Handling infected animals, consuming improperly cooked meat from infected animals, or coming into contact with their bodily fluids or contaminated materials can also lead to infection. Human to human transmission. Although less common, monkeypox virus can spread between humans through close contact with infected individuals or their respiratory droplets. Transmission can also occur by touching the skin lesions, contaminated clothing, or bedding of an infected person. Droplet, respiratory transmission. In rare cases, the monkeypox virus can be transmitted through respiratory droplets from an infected person, particularly when they cough or sneeze. However, this mode of transmission is less efficient compared to direct contact with an infected person or animal. In summary, the infection route of the monkeypox virus involves direct contact with infected animals or humans, animal-to-human transmission, and human-to-human -human transmission through close contact or respiratory droplets. Monkeypox is a viral disease that causes symptoms similar to, but typically milder than, smallpox. Symptoms of monkeypox can be divided into two phases, the prodromal, early, phase and the eruptive, skin rash, phase. Prodromal phase. This phase usually lasts one to five days, during which the infected person may experience the following symptoms. Fever headache, muscle aches, back pain, swollen lymph nodes, chills, exhaustion, malaise, eruptive phase. After the prodromal phase, the skin rash appears, marking the beginning of the eruptive phase. The rash progresses through the following stages. Macules, small, flat, red lesions on the skin that appear on the face and then spread to the rest of the body. Papules, raised, firm bumps that develop from the macules. Vesicles, fluid-filled blisters that form from the papules and become umbilicated, having a central indentation. Pustules, the vesicles turn into pustules, which are pus-filled bumps. Scabs, the pustules eventually scab over and begin to heal. The rash can be widespread and more severe in some individuals, especially those with weakened immune systems. The entire course of the disease typically lasts two to four weeks. In most cases, monkeypox is a self-limited illness, but severe cases and complications can occur, including secondary bacterial infections, pneumonia, encephalitis, brain inflammation, and, rarely, death. There is no specific antiviral treatment for monkeypox virus infection. Treatment primarily involves managing the symptoms and providing supportive care to the patient. This may include pain relief, over-the-counter pain relievers, such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen, may be used to help reduce fever, headache, and muscle aches, fluid intake and rest, ensuring the patient stays well hydrated and gets sufficient rest is important for recovery, prevention of secondary infections, proper care of the skin lesions can help prevent secondary bacterial infections. This includes keeping the skin clean, avoiding scratching or picking at the lesions, and using antiseptic ointments as advised by a healthcare professional. Isolation. Infected individuals should be isolated to prevent the spread of the virus to others, particularly during the skin rash phase when the risk of transmission is higher. In some cases, a patient may require hospitalization, especially if they have severe symptoms or complications. Although there is no specific antiviral treatment for monkeypox, the antiviral drug Cydofavir has shown some promise in laboratory settings, but its effectiveness in humans is not well established. Vaccination with the smallpox vaccine has been found to provide some protection against monkeypox. 
Although the vaccine is not routinely administered since the eradication of smallpox, it may be considered for individuals at high risk of exposure to the monkeypox virus, such as healthcare workers or researchers working with the virus.